Yeah, the, your court reporters, attorneys, whoever wants to, to have access to this tool, they'd go out to legalexhibitstickers.com and you'd just add to cart and uh, increase it to the number of licenses that you want to purchase, the number of computers you want to be able to install it on, and then just check out. So once you've done that, uh, you'll be presented with a pop-up window that will give you the ability to download um, to download the file to your desktop and it will essentially let you download this this program or this zip file that's called legal exhibit stickers uh, dash like I said version 1.0 because it's never been updated um, but in any event once you do that um, You'll want to unzip that file. Uh, where we go? Extract all. And this is a brand new computer, so it has the added benefit of me, me being able to, to do it legitimately for, from scratch. And this computer happens to only have Adobe Acrobat Reader DC on it. So, uh, so what? So now that we've unzipped it, we're going to set this this aside for the moment. These are the, the specialized exhibits, uh, and they're PDFs. Now, you have to resist the temptation not to open them. They have embedded code in them that will be broken if you open them. So do not ever open the files. Uh, I might have already done that. What's that? I might have already done that with the version I purchased yesterday because, you know, curiosity. Sure. Now, if you've done that, all you do is just is delete this folder that you unzipped and then unzip it again. And then you've got a, 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 a set of, uh, um, you know, because I realized when I downloaded it and opened it and, you know, thought about it later, I said, you know, I uh, downloaded it to my court reporting laptop and I would never use my court reporting laptop for uh, this. It's sure. my Zoom laptop that it really should be on because I'm not going to use it like this. So I was going to ask you about that. Yeah, just, I mean, whichever, if you don't install it on one, you just move the files over to the other and install it on, on that computer. Okay. So, um, no issues there. So, after unzipping this one, and again, like you said, if you happen to, 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 to go ahead and open one of these up, just in an abundance of caution, just delete this folder that you, um, the, the unzipped, uncompressed folder, and then just right click on that original zip file. And then, and then extract all again, and then you've got a, a completely, um, you know, unmodified version of stickers. So now that you've got that, the best there is an ins installation instruction uh, README text in this file. However, I have, and, and this may work fine for some folks. However, I've tried to, to do my best to um, to supplement my installation instructions as people have pointed out issues that come up and so so the best installation instructions ever are going to be live and they're going to be at the bottom of the website and it'll tell you right here windows installation instructions and it gives you images and this is this is the best version of installation instructions i can give you at any one point in time and like i said as things come up or as windows changes and makes things more difficult uh, I'll supplement these instructions and make sure they're always as, as helpful as possible. And so as long as people follow these instructions at the bottom of the website on installing it, I've had very few people that ever ever have a problem installing it and have to call. But if you do need to, to call, I have people all the time call and I can help walk them through it, remote connect to their computer and, and, and quickly get them up and running and kind of give them a free demo if, if need be. Um, but anyway, so those are the instructions with, for, obviously I have these memorized, but the thing that's helpful to, to grab right here is this, uh, this path right here that's going to take us to the folder where Acrobat stores uh, all of the exhibit stickers. So we're going to copy that just like it says here, and we're going to hit Windows R so that we can run the path that we just copied. Hit OK. And that will take us to this folder here. Now, this folder has just one subfolder and it's called DC. If you are running uh, the subscription of Acrobat DC uh, and 
or the current version of Acrobat Reader DC, this is going to be the only folder you see. Okay. Now, if you happen to have the current version of Acrobat, but as a standalone installation, the non-subscription version, you'll have other you'll have another folder in here called um, 2015, and that is just the folder that, Acro that that Adobe puts put the stamps in. So, if you have Acrobat Reader DC and the the normal standalone installation version of Acrobat. Um, you'll want to put the these exhibits. You'll want to copy them and paste them into uh, into each one of those uh, stamps folders. Now, so in this one, you see we've gone into the DC folder and there's nothing in here. Well, that that may be because I've never opened Acrobat Reader. Okay, so we've opened. We've opened it. All right, now you see all of a sudden we've got several folders. Now, there, in, in this instance, there is not currently a stamps folder. Usually there is. If there isn't one, we're just going to create one. And all we're going to do is copy those files without opening them and paste them with control V into that stamps folder. And that's literally the entirety of the installation. So again, if you were working on uh, a different version of Acrobat, you may open up this folder. If it's a computer you've been working on and had multiple versions of Acrobat for many years, I was just helping someone with an installation today and they had a 7.0 and an 8.0 and a 9.0 and 11 and, and uh, the 2015 all in this folder because that's how many different versions of Acrobat they still had installed on that computer. And so we did go through in the event she wanted to open it up on one of the older versions of Acrobat for some reason. We just pasted those stamps in each of those different uh, stamps folders for each of those different older versions of Acrobat. Okay. Okay, so once you've done that, you're, you can be done with this. And uh, you will see if you have certain versions of Acrobat of Pro, it will have sometimes this pre-flight Acrobat perpetual uh, folder in there. You don't need to look for a stamps folder or create a stamps folder in that. But this is this down here is what it ordinarily will look like um, whenever you use. If you've been using Acrobat for some time, it will usually have that stamps subfolder, and you just plunk it in there. So.